Goddamn animals! It's damn bad country! Bats, all swooping and screeching and diving around the car. Jesus, where are these goddamn animals? Oh, 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 oh! Look at that! Would you look at that? Would you look at it? It's just in the distance here. Uh, by the way, guys, I have um, done a fast tutorial on this, but look at it, it's pretty epic. So if you want to know how to build that, I'll put a link down to it in the description or after this video. Um, I shall put it on the end screen so you can just click on it and get to it. So this build will fit in the 34 by 30. I think I'm going to premiere this video so I will be in the comments with you watching along with you guys. So hopefully you're having a good time. Let's build this. And I'm doing this block for block because everybody wants block for block all of a sudden. I don't know why. I just want to do fast tutorials. Just leave me alone. Okay, so we're going to be using, I think, white concrete. I'm going to be using some of these three stairs and we're going to have to get out. I'm offline mode at the moment, so as you can see, my skin is Alex for some reason. And we're going to be using some black or grey wool or any black or grey block of your choice. And then, um, yeah, some bush going around there and spruce and stuff and glass. I don't know what glass, maybe some, we'll do some black glass, you know what I mean? Get some black glass out there. Hopefully you've got your popcorn. Let's get ready to rumble. Right, so I'm going to start off here. Now this will fit in a, I don't know if I've said, a 30 by 34 area. So we'll go to the very end actually of our 34. We're going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 altogether there at the front and this is going to be kind of like a little patio at the front well, this is what I thought a little patio and then maybe inside the patio we'll use the spruce and then a pool at the side and then we've got a small little house with garden around it's going to look awesome okay so now we're going to go around to the side we're going to count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten beautiful and then we are going to go to this right hand side and then we're going to grab our spruce stairs this time. We're going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we'll get our white concrete. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Like that. How's everybody else doing today, by the way? Is everyone doing well? Make sure you comment down below. Yeah, just leave a like on the video. Uh, I'd like to say a big shout out to my patrons and a uh, new uh, Patreon, Josh. He's, he's, he's just giving me 50 pounds. He's just being a 50 pound Patreon. That's unreal, man. That's unreal. So thank you so much. Like, um, people who are in the 10 pound tier, I'm probably end up going to join your worlds and stuff and like have a game with you one night or something. So if you want to build with me, 
you want to get me on Patreon and uh, you want to ask me advice or tips and stuff like that, um, then yeah, I'll probably spend um, yeah a day building with you or something. I think that might be quite a cool idea. Um, anyway, we'll go on to this next little bit. If you want to become a Patreon, I'll put a link down in the description. Um, you can become a Patreon for as little as, I put it all the way down to like a dollar or something like that. Anyway, we're going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine like this and then we're gonna go all the way across here and eventually we should have three gaps now this three gaps we might as well count one um one two there so we've got a little passage here you know what i mean right and then we're gonna buy this one two stairs we'll put our stairs there fill in this little bit here and then we can just fill in all the square so i'll just do it Nice and slowly with you guys, and uh, no world edit or anything like that. Um, so yeah, so we can just talk, do you know? Just talk about things, you know, that's going on. I haven't really got anything to talk about, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, comment down below if you've got any questions, because um, yeah, this is kind of like, it's live at the moment. You're speaking to me, li no, okay, you're not speaking to me live, but I am down in the comments, so you can speak to me live, so I will try anyway. Uh, but what do you think to this new feature? This new um, premium, premium, premier, premier, premier hair. Do you like the premier hair? It's very good, isn't it? No. Right, so we've got this little two thing here. We're going to go up like this by counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. <coughs> almost died okay so once we've done that at the side of it not the side of this one next one one two three we're gonna count three there like that and then we're gonna place a greater black block we're gonna have three gaps and then another one three gaps and then another one and then at the side of it we're gonna put white concrete and one back like that so it should look like that from the back and then forwards towards it we're gonna count one two three and in between here we should have a gap of four spaces so up in the air it should look like that it should have something a little bit like that or this area even and um, so we're gonna go to the side of it so as you can see we've got a black one there so we're gonna place another one at the other side of it there and then we're gonna have three gaps one three gaps one place another white concrete on one back so it should look like that and then we can bring this back by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, like that. And then as you can see, we've got this little gap to fill in. So we'll place our black block, obviously, on the second one. Three gaps should be in line with those. Three gaps in line with that. Let's do the pool. So we've got everything down. We just need to do the pool. I've actually just kind of caved it all out ready you know so at the side of here we're going to count one and then on the second one we're going to place one two three four five six seven eight nine three six nine nikola tesla anybody know anything about that guy you should probably look into it and um, so right we're going to go in towards these black bits now so we're going to count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and then obviously nine and then twelve so a 12 by 9 pool and then obviously you can pause the video and dig out this put a flooring in i can't go any deeper otherwise i would would because i'm falling out at the end oh, that was almost the end of me you get you see what i did there that's almost it yeah. okay whatever right so uh i'm gonna place one here and place one here this is where i'm gonna use the world edit because otherwise slash slash set water because otherwise just filling in the water is just um difficult and silly um, when you're in creative but why is there a thing there that's gonna annoy me there we go it's disappeared okay so we've got our pool in and um, let's do the outside wall here so we're gonna have two gaps here so we're obviously at the front of the building two gaps and then we'll place this one and we're gonna go all the way over here you don't need to count them because you're gonna have to go all the way to the side of this building here so you should be level with that one and then count an extra one two three four five like that so we should have that so far i'm going to change the time now i know a lot of people say oh you should use that slash slash time set or use night potion 
Uh, it doesn't work with shaders for some reason. And by the way, a lot of people keep asking me what shaders they use. I use Rudo Plays, I use BSL High. Um, I use the medium sometimes, I use BSL Ultra sometimes, and uh, Chocopix, whatever, CUDA, and yeah, there you go. Cedrillus, vibrant thing in Imagic. That one's quite a good one. Oh, my settings as well. Render settings, I usually have them on like full. And then my distance, oh, I should probably put it down to about six if I was you because uh, that's probably ruined my footage. I don't know how uh, jiggity jagged it is. Um, but I've got a powerful ish PC, but still, I like the high settings and how it looks, but I don't know. Right, so behind here, right, right on the front, this is like the front porch, and we're, we're gonna go like this. We're gonna raise it up like this, so. One, two, three. One, one, two. Three gaps, one, two. Three gaps, one, two, like that. And what we can do is fill this in and underneath here as well. So yeah, um, height wise, I don't know. Um, let's go for a one, two, three, four, five, like that. And then we shall move it over here, like this. Now, we can decide to put anything window-wise at the side here. Now, obviously, we're going to fill one here, because we've got that bit. Now, it's entirely up to you how you want to kind of uh, play this one out, how you want to design it. Putting a one there as well. Um, so, yeah, what we can do is maybe go like this. So we've got two there, and then maybe one, two, three here. And then in the middle, you can decide to put whatever you like. Here's an example. You can fill it in blank, or you could go like this. Um, let's see. Let's do the two here. Fill it in like this. Two, 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 like that. And then you can fill the windows in either side, but which means you're going to have to walk around this bit, but I don't mind. And we'll, we'll grab this bush, actually. We'll bring this bush all the way to as far as what we've done the other one. Because this is going to be like the little back garden, so I'll, I'll fill all this in and get this to the other side, like that. But let me know what you think, if you prefer the block for block tutorials, or you prefer the uh, normal ones. And if you get any ads on this video, make sure you just watch them all, all the way to the end. Because it really does help me out. So if you can't help me on Patreon or something like that, best way you can help me is maybe go into my playlist, just play everything, just while you're sleeping. Just leave your phone on and just have it playing in the background. And so yeah, that's a good way. Um, you don't have to, obviously, but uh, if anybody actually wants to help out, they just haven't, they, they can't afford it or anything like, like that, or they're skint like me, then there you go. That's what you can do. You can help. Every little help. <laughs> Seriously. Right, so I'll fill this little bit in here. Right, so we've got that. This is a black stained glass I'm filling this in with. And I feel really bad asking for, like, people to donate and Patreon. Uh, but I got told to do it ages and ages ago, but I just, I was like, I'm doing okay for, like, I'm doing okay. Um, so, I've left it, like, the last minute, the last possible minute. Um, so, just before I get kicked out of the house, you know? No, I'm joking. I won't get kicked out of the house, but still. Man's struggling, you know? But I'll get there. I'm invested in cryptocurrency. I will be rich one day. I'm going to be a millionaire. And you're all coming along with me. Anyway, right, so I'm going to fill this one, two, so it's four height altogether with that. And then we'll, we'll get this black to the same height, like that. And then I think we should go over like this, at this height, like that. And then we'll bring this up and over. So it just kind of comes over. And then this bit over like that and then down. So we've got a nice little space in there. It's quite a, quite a nice little establishment. <laughs> quite a nice little habitat. Um, so, <laughs> I don't know what I'm on about. Right, um, 
I'm gonna have some kind of um, I kind of want to double it up here in fact just a little bit let's double it up a little bit more just just like that over there perfect and then we'll, we're gonna bring this one up to the same height as this one bringing it over here like that and then obviously we'll fill it in here so these last three here will fill in because that's gonna be on the inside and we're not really gonna see it height wise here we've got one two three four five but the doorway is three height so I'm thinking one two bring it up to four and then we've got a free height down here so yeah so that's one two three four height like that and then we can bring this one up and over like this and it goes over and then this one up and over into this little bit and obviously we can just fill that little bit in there and uh, exactly the same with the windows so if you're wanting to do some kind of window um, pattern you can maybe fill in these two and have windows here or you could just have the one window like a big open window or you could just leave it blank but I think something like that is fairly adequate I would say I kind of want to have this level a little bit lower than this level so what I'm gonna do here I'm gonna bring this up I'm gonna bring this round like this We'll just basically do it one higher, like that. And um, I'm going to bring this up with it so it goes up like that, just in case you have done that little bit. Okay, so we'll go to the other side, maybe? Yeah, okay, right. So one, two, three. This one's obviously going to be a bit lower, so we're going to count one, two, three extra. So it'll be four height bring these black ones up might as well bring these ones up to the same height as well but as you can see from the front door it's a little bit like higher which is fine because I'm gonna bring this over the top here and down like that and then obviously we've got another one outside like that and then um, maybe this one bring it up to the same height as this and obviously over I don't know if I want this as like another part of the house or a back balcony and um, I tell you what you can do so you can see the black from the outside there you can do that and you can leave that there as well so that's an example that you could do and then you can fill more windows in or if you would like you could even add a little bay window by just going across like this taking that out instead and then putting this at the top here so as I say you still got like that one gap to go through uh, but then you would have to use the block of glass if not you can just fill it in as a blank wall so you can do that or you could just um, have some normal side windows or something like that but I think that's all right something like that so we've got a little side balcony there now and um, what we can do for this little bit we can actually use um, because it overhangs and I think it'll look all right by turning that there and then just slotting into there like that obviously we can't do it on the bottom because um, yeah it's just not gonna look right but we can build some bush round here slot into there get this and build it round into there so it kind of cozies it all in and makes it look fabulous um, now I'm gonna bring this over to here that should join into there and then we can actually bring up these walls on the inside here and then over the top because obviously we're going to be walking underneath here now this is where I'm like do I make this side bigger and then an outside bit there um, and then a balcony here and then another roof over so I'm just kind of going with the flow of it I'm guessing um, but I'm I'm saying how about we do this right one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Get this one to thirteen here. And then we've got an odd number to walk through, which I prefer. So we've got that going like that. And then I'm going to double up here. So fill this little bit in here, like that. 
And we can actually go across here so it gives us a, like a little bit of dimension to the build. We'll go up and over like this. So on the inside you'll be able to see those little kind of rifts in the building. But no, it looks good, alright. And then we're going to go up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So height wise from obviously the very bottom, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight height altogether. Six if you're just counting that. And then this is going to go over to the point where we're going here. Don't put this one up. It's just to give you an example of how far you need to bring it. I'll change this time um, so we can see a little bit better. Um, yeah, and then we can bring this one, obviously following this same line and stopping at the point that we've stopped with this one. So we can bring this up. We can actually leave that one up and then we'll do a second one here like that. Okay, and then we're going to go another one underneath here. So we've got like a double thickness kind of build going. So we've got like double thickness there, double thickness there, double thickness going all the way around there. And um, what we can do here, because as it joins onto this bit, I would like to do something like this. So we get the windows there that kind of joins onto this bit. And I kind of want another little room here with this as a kind of a back outside balcony kind of thing so what I'm gonna do here is um, I kind of want the ground level here so we'll bring this ground level to this point here and this is where we can have a stair set going down so we'll just fill all this front part in I'm not sure if I'm gonna do the interior or anything like that but um, I'll give you some ideas maybe and plus I do have quite a few videos of um, interior decorations and things like that I could probably do quite a good interior I've uh, I've done quite a few videos on some um, houses that I do off-camera uh, interior but the thing about interiors I don't like to rush them I kind of like to um, take my time on them um, so yeah I don't know that's the thing. That's the thing. I don't want to do an interior and then it end up people be like, no, let's go. Do you know what I mean? Like, because it is compared to the normal build because interiors I like to take my time on. I think you should take your time on interiors. Um, you shouldn't always follow tutorials because the tutorials are basically, we'll bring this wall up by the way. Um, they don't, they don't think about it. They're just going straight in there and then just hoping for the best, you know. So we've got that going up to that point there. Now this is where I'm wanting to do another little room. So I'm going to go like that. So two there. And then one, two, three, four. And go up and round. So we've got a square there. Now we can bring this square out a little bit. So one, two maximum. So one, two there. One, two, one, two, one, two, three here and then we can go up and round so on the inside we've got a little shelf there and then just for the sake of it right let's just kind of box it all off we've got kind of like a little odd box on the side which I don't, it looks all right to me and then at the side here we've got those we've got the two panels there and then I'm gonna go up from that point and we'll take out that or we'll just take out to the two at the top there you can even take them out there no 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 we'll take the two out from the top there so from one two three one two so that's where your first window is second window there it's just so it's less plain I, I feel it'll look a little bit better um but what you can do is do something like this because something like this put this either side bring these forwards and then another one here and then you've got kind of like a cool side window kind of like a bay area window which I think looks alright and then from the inside it'll look something like this but obviously we can get some stairs and have like another little balcony so you see this little bit here we can have this one two three four bring this over and we can fill in this little bit here if you would like this is just some interior decoration ideas 
Um, <clears throat> here, actually, what we can do here at the side. Sorry that you have to take out three. Three, four. Where does that one at? Yeah. Yeah, let's do four. Bring these four up to here. Might do it on the second one so it kind of like closes in there. And then we can get something like, what you can do is you can bring it over even more if you'd like, but you could bring a stair set going down. You could even have it going down from there. Bring that up to here. And then you can get onto this bit. So you've got kind of like a top little balcony bit. Don't ask me what for. Um, but you could maybe have a little bookshelf at the top here. I think you'd be able to take some out of it. But we're going to have this going round to here. Um, obviously, it's a, a bit of a higher level. Because um, I'm wanting stairs to go down from this point here. So we've got stairs coming down from there. And then fill in this little part here. Just till it goes to here. Like that. Perfect. And then we can fill in this bottom part here. So just fill it in up to here. So as you can see, we're getting quite a few different dimensions to the floor. Um, this is where experimentation comes into play and uh, you can do your own thing. But we, what we can do is we can go bring this over to here. So this is all the same thickness to that point. And then we can actually just track this stairway going down to here so we can get up here. And then we can put another little stair coming from here. Something like that. We could even go up and around to that one more. And then we can get into this little bit. We can fill this in with our thing here. This could be like a tiny little guest bedroom or something or like, I don't know, just something. And then we can put this on here. And don't ask me how you would use this room. It's tiny, I know, but you could probably stick a little bed in there. So it's like a, a emergency backup bedroom or something. I think that'd be all right. So let's go to the front, let's see what it's looking like. I'm liking that so far, it's looking nice. That's looking pretty epic. Um, then I'm gonna take the black here. I'm gonna go diagonal in more, so that's black there. There, and then I'm gonna have to go from here and have a two black one. Okay, so we're gonna go up to the same height as this and then over. So an extra one, two, three, four, five. Fill that in. Let's have a look at it first before everybody puts it in. See, we could go a little bit higher. So we could take this up higher, just take those two out, bring it up and over. So it's the same level as that. And then we can actually fill in the white there. We can fill in the top over the top of all of it so it kind of seals it all in like that. And then this roof from here is all going to be filled in, um, but we can obviously add some windows in here. So we've got a three thickness there. Might as well bring that out by three. So we can bring all this out by three. So everything is all kind of in line. Bring this out, an extra two, making it three. Like this. And then this one, obviously, one, two. So you should have three thickness, as you can see. One, two, three. One, two, three. Blah, blah, blah. Going all the way around. And then on the top of it, we can add something like, I don't know, something like this. Just get some, I would probably use the slabs, actually. Um, some of the spruce slabs. And run it round the top. It just as a little skylight, you know, I think it'll look pretty good. And then we can get the normal glass. Now you can decide to just fill it all in with glass. Or you could do it like this, where you could do it in like little bits here. But that wouldn't work out, so you probably have to do one there, one there. And then two in the middle, the rest of it glass. Or you could just fill it all in with glass like this. So there's so many different ways. Even if you wanted to do it like this, go two rounds with the glass like this. So we go around two times. And then we'll go like this from the inside now. Get some stairs on the inside. Like this. And then we've got like a hole at the top. Which is pretty awesome. 
so yeah um, and then you can just fill the hole in with whatever you like so you put the glass down but from underneath as you can see it's just made the ceiling pattern look pretty awesome you could even put glowstone in there or you could put um, what are they called are these sea lanterns get some sea lanterns in there just at the top and then obviously you can cover up I mean you can use something like um, the iron trap doors obviously fits in with the whiteness Put it on top as well proper bright with these shaders and um, so yeah we've got that we've got the glass to fill in now we can still get out here a little bit but if you want you can always expand it a little bit more so you can get out but i kind of didn't want it as a way to get out because i want to do this get this going across here as a black underneath and then we can grab some bush just fill that little bit of bush even though people can't see it you know you can slightly, just slightly. What you can do as well, if you want, you could always put dirt blocks there. So this is where it's like different. Don't uh, when you're building along, just like wait a little bit because I like to give people different kind of bits of um, inspiration as I go along. Do you know what I mean? So you haven't got the same thing. You could get some grass going along there, flowers or something just makes it a little bit more lived in so you could do something like that and um, obviously we'll fill in these windows here so it's one two three four height if you've done it correctly hopefully hopefully this footage isn't um, all shaky and stuff I really hope it isn't and um, then here this is what I'm wanting to do here I'm gonna count one two three four five six like that and then here we can get some of the um, white maybe going to the top and we've got a three gap window here that we can maybe put as a window but also what you can do is use the glass and bring it up to this point here and fill it all in so you've kind of got a glass panel there as well you can even bring it up to the top if you would like or if you would like you can actually add more of that and put it in like that so it's entirely up to you you can bring this up here as well so these these are little details that are probably not necessary.
and then we can bring this one over to the same distance as that like this and just do exactly the same so three gaps in the middle of there one gap in the middle of there and then we can just grab our stairs to finish off this little bit here bring it up until it meets the top and then obviously we want to hide those stairs away like that and then this is going to go like this height here so this is where we can divide this second room and we could go from there this bring over to here so obviously it's on this track and then all the way back here and it should slot into that like that yeah perfect and I kind of what I want to do is bring this round and have it it might look a bit weird but I kind of want to give it a go um, let's try um, let's do it to this point actually bring this round to here where we've got the staircase bring this up like that so we should have that sort of shape so it's got kind of like a weird balcony bit here I kind of want to leave this balcony open plan though and um, so you can kind of see outside from it so it's kind of letting a little bit of fresh air in like that at the same time we're gonna have to divide it a little bit maybe divide this bit here so we've still got that room there and bring this up to the top and then we're gonna have to put like a little doorway in here and then we can we can have another little window at the top there and maybe something like this but obviously we're gonna, we're gonna have to fill that in an extra one just so we can fill it in just so it doesn't interrupt with the glass um, so fill this glass in here fill that one at the top there and then this one it's kind of outside so we can leave that little bit so we've got another little pantry area there and then kind of what I want to do do you know like what we did with this one just to kind of give it a bit more shape is bring it down here now it's covering up that black bit but if we bring it up to the top like this now I'll show you what I mean we can take out shapes and stuff like if you wanted to take out shapes there you could take out shape there or you just wanted to maybe take out the one there and just have it like that so you can have like different shapes but even just that is kind of alright and what you can do is you can kind of go around like that so that's equal and then you've got another little ridge here now this ridge you could bring around to that point there and then you, you've got an excuse to put some more bushes on to make it look a little bit more unique do you know what I mean and then you could even bring another piece down here like that so that looks like it's legit supported and then what we could do here is expand this a little bit more and expand to this bit here so it just overhangs and covers those little bush areas there and then we can have a little skylight in here oh god I'm losing my voice so we can do the same thing with the skylight where we could go like this over the top and then just fill it in with our glass like we did here so let's have a little look on the inside so yeah you come out here you've got your little skylight there you come down into this bit you come down into this bit and then I'm undecided what I want to do from this bit like that little bit there we could do that this is what I want to do like I'm wanting to bring this across here because I'm wanting more bush on it because I'm feeling it's looking a little bit bare we can just remove that little bush hope you don't mind um, and then you can maybe put one up like that or leave it and just have bush going across the whole thing here like that and this is what I mean when you remove like this one you could have the bush running underneath and you could have something like this going over the top and joining into there so there's like different things that you could do do you know what I mean if you don't like that you just leave it but um, that's how you can start expanding on the house yourself and doing little different things even if you wanted it in a different block so if you wanted it in the gray or something like that you can do that you've got like this little outside area here as well could do something cool with that but I kind of like that um, I can't, at the same time I kind of want to um, add a little bit of the this here 
So count one, two. Bring this up to that height and then put black going round like this. And then we can end the black there. So that we've got one little stair that goes into nothing. Or you could just place a block if you don't like it like that. And then we can have this or you could have this and then just fill it in. So you could have that as an example or you could just have the one black obviously if you had it that way just fill, fill in the glass or you can have the one glass so it doesn't affect this bit like this but you could have it like coming up to this bit so it kind of pokes out a little bit more and then you could use your um, glass which we're using the black stained glass we can fill the black stained glass in there now so you can see how many different combinations you can kind of do on one little bit and it just shows it's just um, how creative you can get with it really um, so we've got that we, we can obviously fill these windows in now I kind of want to do them with the block of glass so it goes down to the ground so we can still see it so we'll fill in that fill in that and we'll fill in this here with the block and then I'm wanting a, like just a just a little doorway there and fill the rest with glass now here's another doorway example what you could do is get little shutter doors so it kind of like opens and shuts like that so you could come out into your little balcony you could put a little chair out there or something like that you know there you go sit out on your balcony and um, so you've got that um, you could we can add some bushes a little bit later I guess uh, I'm wanting to use this for here this going across the top and then we could do the same sort of doorway but how about this for a doorway you could do something like that put glass like that and then when you grab something like a fence put it in between it looks like an open and a shut door like that and then we can grab maybe some deck chairs outside just so it looks a little bit you know like a little bit chill we grab that there and then you've got you can even bring them all the way to the side so this is where you can kind of add your trees plants and stuff maybe one there and one here like this and then you can put one, one, two, three bushes on there. One, two, three on there. So it's kind of, uh, that's kind of nice. Kind of like how that's looking. Um, same at the side here as well. To fill it in, we could place one there. Um, place another one there. Odd, even, doesn't matter. I usually do them up three height. I think three is quite optimal. Um, so you could use normal glass panes here. You could put glass paints over the top. Obviously, if you're in survival or something like that, you're probably not wanting these open doors. Uh, it's probably counterproductive. So uh, we've got that. We've got those little windows there. But at the same time, you could. What you can do. I'm sorry if people don't like me doing this, but I kind of like to cater for everybody, so everybody can come along and be like, "Oh, I like that. I'll do that." Uh, you can have free doors like this. So. Don't be placing blocks yet. Obviously, we're going to put some stairs up to there so we can actually get through. So you can put some stairs like that. Or you could even have something like this. We could have an oak door like that. Oak door, oak door. Bring your glass panels around it like that. Can I fit through? Yes, I can something like that which I think looks rather dashing if I do say so myself what is my life honestly uh, and now I'm gonna get this over to here and then in fact we'll do it two times right down here see so, yeah, I'm trying to show you guys how you can do different levels of flooring and it actually makes it look quite good um, I'm just gonna do this for the purpose of the tutorial obviously in a modern house you're probably not going to put torches there it's probably not good i'm gonna have a actually i've got a cup of uh, tea right here so just hold on ah! oh, much better All right i'm back i've got my fuel okay so i'm going to put this across here and as you can see we've got a nice little establishment forming so we can put some coat hooks, coat racks, something like that. You could even get some stairs and just, this is going to be awkward. A stair like that, bring it round to there, end it there. 
you've got a little thing there coat rack time so people come into your house you've got to have a little bit of um, etiquette about you I usually just say just throw it on the floor mate it'd be right <laughs> I don't do that I probably would though um, right um, underneath here I'm gonna take out this and I kind of want a different floor because I'm beast like that um, so I'm gonna have a birch floor now I said I wasn't gonna use any world edit but I'll be honest with you I'm very tempted um, but yeah right so I'm gonna take out this maybe ooh, maybe we could go down even more into the ground at the same time I kind of don't want it but don't worry I haven't forgotten about probably up top this is how I build usually um, this is why I kind of like to do my tutorials fast because I um, so I'm entertained all the time keep myself entertained probably because I've got ADHD or something like that I'm being honest with you I'm quite a hyperactive or A A is it A A D A D D I don't know anyway I like to build a bit sporadic 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 yeah we've got the, the, the roof on top to fill in but <laughs> who needs a roof and uh, so we're going to take all this out and I'm going to show you how you can divide up your rooms a little bit better. And then you can choose how you want to divide your room. So it's going to be a long video. People are just going to see. This is why I kind of uh, don't want to do long videos. Because people will see this video and it's probably going to be about an hour long. And they'll be like, oh, I'm not building that. It doesn't look that big. But they don't actually see the amount of um, the effort and, um, and detail I try to go into. Like some of the smaller builds. Because I know... Quite a lot of people they uh, they speed them up, but for some reason everyone's wanting these really long ones to hear me chat on about a load of rubbish and place a load of blocks. So uh, I don't know, maybe you're uh, you're in bed right now, uh, listening to this like an audio book, and I'm soothing you to sleep with my voice that sounds like Matt Damon. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. Right, okay. Um, over here right I'm gonna because this is inside I'm just gonna put the one down like that yeah what about it bro I just smash my wall up look so you could do something like that that's fine and then at the back here you could do this go round like this you only got it on pit and then um, yeah we could just have the sliding doors but at the top as well even if you wanted to have a little bit of a change at the top you can um, do something like that so at the back of your build it looks a little bit different from the front so yeah that's sliding door and um, I'm gonna take these out as well I'm gonna put the birch in see what I mean how I'm like a bit all over the place right so we'll, we'll fill all this in and um, cross the bottom there obviously if you kept that wall plain then you don't have to worry about filling that bit in because it's not there. Um, we'll fill this bit in here. Just get rid of all this dirt. This dirty dirt. Nobody likes dirt. I actually did make um, a dirt, like, huge castle thing um, ages ago. I think I did it in one of my pro to new tutorial things. I don't know. Well, it wasn't really a tutorial. I'm sorry if people get annoyed with me um, saying that my sh do you know the the faster builds are tutorials because at the end of the day i kind of look at it as a tutorial it's just a faster tutorial and um, because i do tell you the dimensions i am showing you how to build it for some reason some little snot bags have got like an issue with it like it's rare that i ever clickbait or anything like that i legit tell right i'm gonna put this across here actually i just want to see what it looks like at the front yeah, that looks awesome. I do actually think it looks a lot better with uh, those little bits. Yeah, I don't. I wouldn't really class that as clickbait, calling it a tutorial because, yeah, I'm, I'm showing you the dimensions. So if you've got a problem with that, um, I don't care. <laughs> I honestly don't care. So don't even bother commenting. Like I, d I know it sounds awful and stuff, but if you've got something negative to say that's not counterproductive. That's not like um, a fair criticism. 
um, that like will improve me do you know as a as a builder or improve me as a builder something like that yeah all honestly welcome absolutely welcome you you um you give me your opinion um i will definitely listen to it i'll take note and um yeah that's how you get better but when you just come into my channel to complain that about something like that i don't actually care what you're saying like there's no point leaving a comment i don't think anybody else who appreciates the tutorials cares what you're saying either you're just kind of spewing out negative um negative things which you should probably stop that because you're going to make yourself quite a toxic person if all you've got to say is something negative like you come along you don't say anything positive whatsoever and you just say something negative because you feel like you need to get some negative stuff off you like that's it's not a good way to go about it because you're only hurting yourself as well or well, you're hurting me as well so don't do it all right <laughs> right so i'm gonna fill it one two three four five like this right so this is how you could divide up a room just want to give you like little um, ideas because quite a few people ask me how would you go about dividing up a room like here as well you see how we've got that floor in that's down there you could just have that going down so just kind of following the um, architecture of the building like even down here if you wanted another one down there that kind of uh, gives that more of a reason for it to be like that and um, say so even here if you just wanted if it's just like a little wall like this and then you had like this going over the top here maybe a two doorway there you could add some windows in there maybe a top window there and this goes over to I don't know maybe level with that something like that you could do that over there so in here you could maybe I don't know fill it with something like as a, a room divider like that maybe something something like that you know um, like that it's another sliding door there um, so you kind of walk around here you can do it just cuts up the room a little bit makes it feel a bit more and like here's another example right here's quite a cool uh, feature that you can do so obviously keep that if you really like that um, here you go right um, go underneath here and then fill it with water fill that water in like that and then fill in grass at the bottom here and then we can grab some sugar cane and then you can divide the room up by using a bit of sugar cane I know quite a lot of people do that it stops up there you see what I mean it kind of um, it looks all right and um, you could even have like a little weird chair here I don't know Um let's see Did this work <laughs> Uh, there you go it's an invisible chair back it's like a hover hover back thing and same with here as well if you want to add more stuff to it just so it looks a little less plain on the inside you could do something like this like that going all the way around do you know what I mean if you don't like it you don't like it um, you could do something like that and then add shelves in here so those are shelves and obviously um, to fill in you can add um, like plant pots and stuff I know we've still got the, the ceiling to do and stuff like that so don't you worry about it I forgot about it more than uh, but I have forgot about probably putting a stair set up to, up to the second floor my god yeah so this is where um, a little bit of um, just kind of guesswork comes into play um, so say that you wanted um, I'd say a good stair set you could probably bash out some of this even though it's covering that doorway we've got a stair set coming down from here you can even take out one more so it just comes in less go like this bring the stair set down and it's not covering up the door too much so you can still get around it and through the door like that but obviously if that's something that bugs you you can put your stair set wherever you like I'm just giving you a small example um, and then same with this if you don't like that you just want the one doorway into it you want something like that and then around the back of here you've got like space to hide some of your stuff there there you go look at that 
and then as you can see how it joins onto here we can bring it round to that point there and then across the back here you can obviously put whatever you like you can kind of like um, you can even add some bush in there get some bush going out of the back there your bush fades all the way around like that inside your building that's okay bring in different bits out so if you wanted that out a little bit more so it cuts up that bit um so yeah you divide in your room up into little bits looks kind of all right i'm just going to put some plant pots here for some reason uh, we just had a, had a feeling about yeah just put some plants there right so you can do something like that even if you wanted to have it like that as like a whole kind of barrier thing even if you wanted to do it one more so it kind of um it's got the whole thing like that you could have a whole glass going across the ceiling like that so that's another dividing way and um, even if you just want the one barrier like that holding it up so there's so many different things that you could do uh, different ways and um, yeah putting couches in here TV maybe you want a TV on here maybe you want little couches around here I'm gonna leave some creativity up to you guys obviously you want to do something yourself so wise you know but as you can see so far I'm liking that it's looking good we just need to put our ceiling on we're pretty much finished and um, but like with this bit here you could put some glass going around here like this just so it kind of feels a little bit I don't know it's probably good this footage I've got a feeling it's gonna be so bad and I do apologize and um, so I'm gonna bring down my render distance I'm gonna take my shaders to 1.5 just in case that might be smoother for you so yeah right uh, and then we've got our roof I'm just gonna fill in the roof I think and um, so here with our roofs roof roofness we can fill that so we, as you can see we've got two there we could do the same three technique so we can make sure everything's on three bring that back so that's to three there so we've got that little bit there let's bring that one more and then we could put um, you could even leave that plain. What you can do as well, you could even just have like one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and then get some half slab of the white quartz and um, kind of go around it, and it looks like like a top um, roof vent of some form, something like that. It's on the inside. Mm, let me see. I'm gonna fill that in and then maybe put some glass in the top parts or we could just go like this and then obviously we can if you wanting to add some lights and stuff we've got another kind of um, wacky roof thing so you can get some more half slabs there more half slabs there if you're wanting more of a light glitch thing going on you can then do that and it gives it that sort of light glitch so that's another cool idea it's not really the best for lighting up things see here as well like if you don't like how the stairs are you could fill that in fill it in there and then bring in fact just fill it in there because otherwise we're affecting the, the lower part of the roof so we've got that bit there and then this bit here if we go round to this bit over here and bring we could even leave it like that we could then put this bit here and then we've got another bit of glass which looks awesome and then we could just fill in this whole roof so we could have at least one roof that's like filled in completely really sorry if this is laggy this is why I, I kind of um, this is another reason why I shy away from doing the, the bigger ones so yeah here's another example of like fake roof vents something like this and then if you get your track it actually goes in a circle if you only put four of them so it goes to a legit circle so that's um, another thing that you can do and then if, even if you wanted to go around those vents with some of this stuff 
uh, which is the spruce than you can do um, so yeah we've got that we've got that all going on looking good and then um, even if you wanted to kind of make the pool into this little bit um, put another barrier here and a barrier here and then you can cut off the pool you can have a little gateway into there that's how you get in and then outside um, you can add tables chairs so you can you can just do a silly little table chair thing where you can I like to do this for my tables um, redstone block can you hear it in my voice slowly like <laughs> these longer videos I get towards the end I'm like and then you just put this one here oh. so yeah right okay let's do I might make it one longer so I can do these chair designs because I, I prefer these chair designs. And um, so if you get your fence like this, four of them there. Um, I might even make it a bit longer, just so they're not close together. It's a lot of pistons, but obviously, um, yeah. There we go. There we go. Oh, fantastic. And my belly's growling at this point. What shall I have for uh, tea? Comment down below. Um, then we should have cake. Because everybody loves the cake. And then, um, do you know what? It's a big celebration. It's, uh, I haven't done, um, I haven't done a tutorial in quite a bit. So yeah, there you go. There's a lot of cake for us guys to party on down and then um, you can add whatever you like when it comes to I mean you could even use sandstone but or orange block one two three those are very long sunbeds um, <laughs> very very long right something like that perfect right we've got that that's looking nice it's looking good I don't know which angle to actually uh, show people uh, should we go from that angle I guess we could and uh, yeah I'm gonna finish it off finishing touches a little bit of bone meal just to kind of make it look a little bit lived in like someone hasn't done the garden for quite a while like that so you can obviously put stuff in the back garden as well this is just an example obviously probably most people wouldn't do this but a little bit of bone meal just kind of makes it look well lived in and then um, yeah I'm gonna clear all this up get ready for my um, thumbnail and I am finished hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and uh, you slap a like on the video and yeah so if you want to know anything just comment down below and I will do my best to reply to everyone Um other details that you could add it's just still little buttons here and there. So one, two, three. You've got three buttons there. Maybe you want two there or something like that. Just look around the build where you feel oh, it's a bit plain. Two there. So here as well. We could maybe one, two, three there. That'll look all right. And let's look on the roofs looking okay. Even if you wanted to put some bushes going around the roof as well, just to kind of uh, make it look cool. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video enough to slap a like on the video. And you enjoyed it. Block for block tutorial, like you guys said. I've done it eventually. Hopefully I have covered everything. Um, all these rooms. Obviously you can decorate them however you like. But hopefully you got enough inspiration and I've done enough of the interior for you guys to um, yeah, make your own kind of thing. So yeah. Um, you've got a bit of inspiration now. I shall catch you in the next video. Love you guys. You are awesome. I shall see you later. Peace.